What's up guys, it's Ramon from Nine Block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another review. Um, the three figures are all customs that I just got finished with tonight. But where the custom came from wasn't hand painting or anything. Um, I did have to tweak some stuff, add glue to pieces, uh these arms in order to get the gloved vegeto hands i had to swap out four arms and change pegs up so it fit into the um, socketless shoulder peg of the goku but i these bases for the upper torso each one of them is black hole toys but the torso itself is a custom done by fairy tale customs which you're going to see on the introduction to this video and in the description um, Fairy Tale Customs is a customizer. He's been in the game for a long time. He's made stuff like the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Broly head sculpt. Um, if you saw that, it is specifically for the superhero Broly. He has done stuff like uh, numerous different head sculpts that you could purchase. Um, is it's one of his biggest things, some ultra instincts, and I have a whole bunch. I bought a lot more than these from him, so I'm going to show some of those off. And I've made some videos in the past about the things he has done. So this is a blue shirted Goku. So this torso right here comes unglued. I have to glue it together. Um, you have to take the old torso apart. The only thing it is is the chest and this bottom piece here. Then you have to use the parts from the insides of another figure i chose black hole goku reason being you don't want shoulder sockets on this um to be showing uh so it if you use a figure that doesn't have these peg holes which black hole goku being a shirtless goku does it makes it uh more aesthetically pleasing and then i just removed the blue piece from here and put this shirt on so just the orange was ripped so you get this rip pant look. And that is Goku. Here we have Vegito. Um, I might end up taking this belt and shaving it down a little bit like you can see here. Um, since it's folded over on this, you can kind of see the, the belt, but not like this, um, this shirt. Kind of looks a little goofy with this piece on top. I've even thought about taking the torn shirt off um, and just having the belt. But this is Vegito, and this is the biggest pain on any of them because I wanted these gloved hands. Um, so I had to remove the forearm off of a gloved Vegito figure. And use it for this one and it was a pain in the butt and you can see it it's still you see like the pin in the forearm so it still didn't work like a hundred percent like it should have and it probably would come out if I mess with it too much but I really love the way that turned out and the look with the orange shirt just this little belt piece is uh, the only thing I'm skeptical about. And this Goku just looks cool. Then last, but not least, on the customization is a Bojack Trunks. Now you can see I use 2.0 uh, legs and body for him. Reason being is I had a uh, time patroller I wasn't using. Um, and the the torso you see how it gets so skinny here and then the waist down here is skinny as well if i would have tried to put that on the 3.0 trunks it it would have looked goofy because his waist is so much wider um than going up into the the torso his hips were way wider than the waist <clears throat> so i put this on the 2.0 body you can see it is a black um, shirt it rip shirt 
Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to get these shoulders out of here only because these are wristband and uh, Bojack Trunks doesn't have wristbands. And now, somewhere in my home, I have a Vegeta, Kong Vegeta, that I can steal uh, arms from that don't have armbands. And I looked everywhere for it while making this custom, and I just could not seem to find it. But I eventually will. I got a ton of figures if you guys haven't took notice. But yeah, so uh, eventually this is just going to have Kong v Vegeta arms, and that way uh, he doesn't have gauntlets. Um, I'm going to put a sword from... I, I have two of the new... Uh, trunks and I'm going to take a steel sword from one of them and uh, give that to him So some of the things you have to do is I had to swap out a neck peg to get a trunks head to fit on this Vegito fits perfectly fine on that um, The only thing was his, his forearms and then manipulating the bicep into the forearm on both arms that was a pain this Goku it's Goku so I mean literally it was just pop the torso put this torso together throw everything back together and he was fine easy if you want to do the blue but uh, took some work for the other two and eventually gonna be even more work when I um, take the armbands off him and uh, throw the Kong Vegeta arms on him but yeah, if you guys like the way these look, then you want to go to Instagram and follow Fairy Tale Customs. Um, he does make occasional posts on groups where you can pre-order his stuff, uh, but most of his stuff is done on Instagram. He'll have sales. That's where I picked up all of these from. Was him posting on Instagram and me just getting there fast enough to be able to purchase these before they sold out. So the uh, Instagram handle is F-E-R-R-Y-T-A-L-E and then custom C-U-S-T-O-M-S. -S. And uh, give him a follow. Uh, he, he, it's like quarterly. Um, outside of pre-orders or large sales, because he did large sales on these, um, I didn't get the black and the orange. I just got the blue. Regretted it down the line, jumped the one, and he was selling the black and the orange. So now I have my uh, custom Goku, Trunks, and Vegito. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content from me as I release... Please subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, see ya.